I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on permutations with identical elements. We will use the very basic definition of calculating such permutations. It is that the number of permutations of set of n objects containing a identical elements of one kind, b identical elements of second kind, etc. is n factorial divided by a factorial times b factorial. Now, the question for us is, how many different ways can you arrange the word bananas if n's and the b must be together? So the question is, how many different ways can you arrange the word bananas if n's and the b must be together? So you can pause the video, think about it, and then solve the question. Here is my solution. Now what we notice here is that we have two n's and one b. So when we say we need to keep n's and b together, so let me make one group which has got b and n together, right? So this is my one group. So from this word bananas, if I take away uh, b, n, and n, I'm left with the group with a, 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 and s. So I'm left with a, a, a and S, right? So these are the other letters which are left. So that makes bananas. Now these should be together. That's the reason why I've kept it as one group. So basically, we have these five positions, right? So we have these five positions to fill in, right? Now, let us try to understand in how many ways can we arrange the number, the letters B, N, N, right? Here, what we have is n, n factorial is 3, right? 3. So we write 3 factorial divided by a is 2, 2 n's. So that makes a is 2. So that is 3 factorial by 2 factorial. In so many ways we can arrange b and n, correct? Now let's look into the other part a, a, a and s. Now in this case we have four different objects, four objects, I should say, one, two, three, four. So we have four factorial in the numerator divided by identical objects, A is one, two, three. So four factorial divided by three. That is what it is. Plus, there are five positions to fill in. So we have, uh, let me write in a different ink, we have five positions, right? So we have five positions. Right? This has to come together and that's why we have five positions. So that gets multiplied by five. So that is how we get the result. Right? So that gives you the answer as three factorial divided by two factorial is three times four divided by three factorial is four times five. Right? So 20 times three, 60. So we get 60 as our answer. So that is the solution for the given question. Now this is a thinking question. Go through it once again, try to understand, and I've seen this question many times in the test paper. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Thank you and all the best.